Hey friends, this is the Air Gradient 1. It's an indoor air quality monitor. On today's video, we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna set it up, we're gonna give it a quick test demo and let you know what we think. Okay, inside the box, we're gonna see the main unit. And again, it's very, very simple, fairly slim. Again, it's not gonna take up too much space on a wall. We have our little display down here, little logo. And then on the back, we have some areas and some pegs where we can actually hang it on the wall. We've got two little plastic pieces. These may be uh, stands. Again, we'll have to research what those are. And then this is gonna be our charging cable to bring power to the monitor. Now the charging port is gonna be down here on the back. You can see the little USB-C input down there in order to bring power. Now the other thing that is included is this nice little card that gives us a QR code that will bring us to the setup process and build instructions. Now that QR code will bring you to this page right here. As you can see, if you have the fully assembled monitor, you can actually go directly to the setup instructions down here. And then we can begin by connecting the monitor to a Wi-Fi and an air gradient dashboard. This takes us to another setup page and it looks like we need to use the onboarding wizard. I'm gonna click on that and it looks like we need to sign up for an account. Now again, take note that what this is going to do is it's going to allow the app to talk to a cloud-based dashboard that has real-time data. So again, you're uploading it to their host platform. We're gonna create a new account. All right, after we've signed up for an account, we're gonna go into the setup process. As you can see, they need to label your specific monitor with a few different details. We're first gonna name where this is gonna live. I'm just gonna put home for now. Country, we'll do US, and then we'll pick our time zone. We're gonna select our specific monitor, which is the Air Gradient 1, and our monitor does have QR codes on the back, so we're going to click on the with QR codes. Okay, just take note of this. I'm gonna be using my specific QR code, so I won't be able to show you that on video, but what we need to do is open up the camera. We're gonna point it at the back, with the QR code that's labeled to dashboard. Now this is gonna direct us to a web page to add the monitor, and this is what the website is going to look like. Okay, so we are now in our dashboard, and as you can see, we don't have any data available right now. We can see our specific monitor down at the bottom here, but again, there's no data that is actually being recorded. So the next process now is to get power into the monitor and get it connected to our Wi-Fi so that it can begin uploading that data on to the dashboard. Okay, the way we connect this to power is we are going to use the USB-C end of this. We're gonna plug it into the USB port down here. And then we have some options with running this wire through these little slots right here so it doesn't bunch up. The one bad thing is that this is gonna be a normal USB. It does not come with a wall plug, so we'll need one of those if you're gonna plug it into a wall outlet. Now for today's purposes for our testing, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to plug this into my computer using a hub and that way we can get power. Okay, basically what happened is we got a bunch of green lights up here. It was connecting and after a few seconds, we had a confirmation. You get a nice little green light and then all of our data starts showing up down here on our monitor. Okay, so for our current readings, you can see we have our CO2, our carbon dioxide levels. Now we may not really understand what that is measuring against, so we have to look in the app for that. We'll go back to the dashboard here in just a second. We also have particulate matter 2.5 or lower. You can see that's at zero. And then we have two VOC at 18 right now. The other things we can see up top, it is almost 72 degrees. That's in Fahrenheit. And you can actually change that to Celsius if needed. And then we have our relative humidity percentage on the right. So let's go ahead and go back onto the dashboard now that this has an opportunity to sync with that and get a little bit more information. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is actually use the additional code on the back that says add to Wi-Fi. And that will allow us to go to a Wi-Fi manager. As you can see, the web page looks like this. We'll connect to our local network and that is going to enable this to give data directly to the internet and onto our dashboard. Okay, back on our dashboard, you can see we now have some green indicator lights that are associated with those numbers. You can see the particulate matter 2.5, we're at zero, again, that's basically saying average. The CO2 is at 635, and that's saying that's average as well. Now, something else to take note of here in the dashboard, if you go down here, these three little lines give us some checkbox indicators of the data that you want to see. So you can kind of look through here and see if there's things you'd like to add or potentially take off. The other thing we can do is we can come up here to the stack, and as you can see, there's a data export as well as an analytics chart. 
Now, again, because we only have one day of data, this is really not going to be useful for us just yet. But over time, we'll be able to see trends line up in a graph state, which is really, really nice. So there you go, friends. That's the Air Gradient 1 air monitor. It's meant for the indoors. And it's got all sorts of nice features. It's fairly easy to set up. And again, this provides you with some really, really good data about the air quality in your home. So lots more to discover, lots more to kind of check out. Stay tuned to the channel. We may do a six month review as we're using this. Stay tuned because we do a ton of different tech style tutorials for these type of products to make your life just a little bit easier. Thanks for watching friends. We'll see you again on the next one.